All right, so at this point, you guys should know the drill. We got another data download on Global last night, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over everything that was added to the game to give you guys a quick preview of, uh, you know, what's to come in the next campaign. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna give a quick shout out to my boy, Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all of these assets. And without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it, okay? So we're gonna pop down to the bottom here. You guys can see some of these assets as we go along. And the first thing we're gonna take a look at are the assets for the new story event called the Proud Justice Pride Troopers. And here are the assets for the stages. There are three in total. And there's also gonna be a farmable free-to-play casserole slash pride troopers. And this is the medal to uh, token awaken them. And then we have the Extreme Z Awakening medals for AGL Dispo and also the STR Topo. And dude, I cannot wait for Topo's Extreme Z Awakening. He is just so damn good. And I've been wanting this for a long time, so I'm so glad. I mean, obviously I care about Dispo, but I just feel like I'm gonna be using Topo much, much more. And he is just really, really phenomenal. So yeah, both their Extreme Z Awakening medals their Extreme Z Battle Assets, their Extreme Z, oh, here we go, Extreme Z Battle Assets. Everything related to their Extreme Z Awakenings, basically, have been translated, and they will be dropping on Global in a couple days, okay? And after that, we have a brand new category, the University 11 category, so here is the assets for that. And we have the free-to-play casserole slash pride trooper assets, their super attack name, super attack line, and also, I believe, a few more, yes, casserole assets right here. And that is the free-to-play unit. And then we have a new summonable unit, the uh, Int Topo slash Pride Troopers. He's gonna be the new side unit that's gonna be dropping with LR Jiren's banner. Oh, spoilers, by the way. We are gonna be getting LR Jiren in case you guys missed it, okay? So these are the assets for the Topo. That is a very, very long super attack line. And we also have the assets for, I believe, the uh, SSR version of the Topo before he's token awakened. And finally, we have LR Jiren assets. This guy is finally coming, man. I mean, I knew there was like a very high chance that he was going to be dropping next, but there was this like middle voice in my head that was like, yo, Tiger, it's still global, so you never know. They could drop Turles here instead, right? And it was possible for sure, but I'm glad that it's Jiren. I've been waiting for him, and uh, we're going in, man. I know it's a legendary summon banner. I know that people are going to tell me to skip. But you guys know I can't skip banners, especially when it's Jiren, man. Okay, so we have the SSR form for the Jiren. We have his TUR form right here, which in my opinion is actually the best art of all three. And that's usually the case, right? For new LRs, I tend to like the TUR art more than the LR art. I don't know why, it's just always been the case, right? And we finally have the LR, and it's not bad, but I do like the TUR more. I gotta be honest. And uh, there we go, guys. LR Jiren officially on the way. All this stuff, the Jiren, the Topo, the Dispo, and Topo EZAs, all those things are gonna be dropping in about two and a half days on Global. So if you guys are planning to summon for Jiren, then uh, get your stones ready, okay? So a quick summary here, Dokkan Battle Global, data download for January 15th, 2021. Translated assets, Tech LR Full Power Jiren, Int Topo, Pride Troopers, Fizz Casserole, Pride Troopers, Pride Troopers Extreme Z Battle, which is for the Topo and Dispo, and Story Event Proud Justice Pride Troopers. So there you go, guys. That was last night's data download. Another big shout out to my boy Proton10MG for posting these assets. We appreciate you, as always. And now let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki where I can show you guys what each of these units actually do, right? So starting with the Topo here, his leader skill is all types, key plus three. HP, attack and defense plus 80%, super attack causes supreme damage and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn, and passive is attack and defense plus 70%, all allies key plus one, attack and defense plus 40%, and all enemies defense minus 70%, reduces damage received by 40% when HP is 70% or less. So that is the EZA topo. Moving on to dispo here. Leader skill, AGL type, skill plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 50% for 6 turns, and passive is attack plus 20% and chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks plus 20% up to 60% at the start of each turn, plus an additional attack plus 20% within the same turn after evading 
and attack. So this 20% boost can be stacked infinitely. So theoretically, he can get up to attack plus 10,000, which is impossible given the length of events in the game. But if there was an event that could go on forever, then this guy would easily become, you know, the hardest hitting unit in the game. And uh, of course, he also gets up to 60% chance to dodge after three appearances. So that is easy a dispo. And now let's talk about the is free to play castle roll slash pride troopers. Leader skill is super class key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 40%. Super attack raises defense and causes supreme damage to enemy. And passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when there is another universe 11 category ally attacking in the same turn. And universe 11 category allies key plus one attack and defense plus 30%. Links. Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Brainiacs, Supreme Warrior, Cold Judgment, Turn of Power, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Universe 11 Saga, or sorry, Universe Survival Saga, Join Forces, Special Pose, Universe 11, and Space Traveling Warriors. And uh, yeah, for a free to play unit, very solid, nothing too crazy here, but good support, decent attack and defense boost, and also infinitely stacking defense, which is always nice. And now let's move on to the int topo. So leader skill is universe 11 or special pose category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 110% plus an additional attack and defense plus 110% when there are three or more category allies, universe 11 category allies on the same team. Guard all attacks when there is another Universe 11 category ally attacking in the same turn, and Universe 11 category allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%. So this guy does a lot, he gets up to 220% attack and defense, he guards against all attacks, and also provides some amazing support for Universe 11. Obviously, he's going to be most effective on a Universe 11 team, and otherwise he's not going to be nearly as good, but on the University 11 team, he is absolutely amazing. His links are Supreme Warrior, Signature Pose, Tough as Nails, Hero of Justice, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are University 11 Saga, damn it, Universe Survival Saga, Join Forces, Special Pose, University 11, and Space Traveling Warriors, all right? And last but not least, we have the man himself, full power, LR Jiren. Universe 11 category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Universe Survival Saga category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Buff key super causes colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. 18 key super mega colossal damage massively lowers defense and a medium chance to stun the enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 200%, key plus 1, with each attack received up to 5 attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status and performs a critical hit when the target enemy is stunned. Active skill is attack and defense plus 30%, all enemies attack and defense minus 30%, and stuns all enemies for one turn, can be activated after the character receives attacks five times in battle, once only. Links are Supreme Warrior, Shocking Speed, In Fighter, Godly Power, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Full Power, Universe 11, and Space Traveling Warriors. So yeah, those are all the new units that were added to the global database through this data download, or at least had their assets translated so that they're ready for a release on the global side. And all of this stuff will be dropping on global in exactly, let me see, in exactly two days, 14 hours, and 48 minutes from the time I'm recording this video. Obviously, by the time this video drops, it's gonna be, you know, even sooner since it's gonna take me a while to edit and, uh, you know, publish. But yeah, let's say in about two and a half days, global players will have access to all of these units. And I know a lot of people are gonna be skipping, a lot of people are saving for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or something else in the future. But you guys know, your boy cannot skip anything, especially something as hype, a unit as broken as Jiren is. So I'm definitely gonna be summoning. So if you guys need to live vicariously through my summons while you save your stones, then I got you covered, okay? So there you go, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. That is the data download. A big shout out once again. I think that's the third shout out to my boy Proton10MG. He deserves it though. 
for uh, posting everything. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.